Greggy has nothing to be grateful for, or so he says. Despite his bad habits, he is in a healthy state. He has people around him that care for him. Why isn't he thankful? So it was one Monday morning, I was driving to work, listening to my music. I had that Monday feeling of, I really don't want to go to work. I don't hate my job, I, but I mean, it's Monday morning. I don't really need to get into that. So I then decided to practice gratitude. So out loud, I was saying the things or five things that I was grateful for. So number one, the sun was shining. The sun was shining through all the clouds. It was a bit misty, but the sun was shining through. It wasn't the most glorious sunny day, but the sun was shining through. So I was thankful that the sun was shining through. We need the sun, we need the vitamin D. So I was just thankful. I was then thankful that my car is in working order. A few times my old car has had things wrong with it. So I wasn't able to drive to work. I wasn't able to drive anywhere. So when I don't drive, I'm kind of stuck. So I was thankful that my car worked and it still works now. The thing is every time or most times I'd be thankful, I give thanks, I show gratitude for the things in my life that is going well, the good things in my life. There's this sudden feeling of, again, gratitude and a bit of happiness that comes through me. Even this morning, I was just looking out my window and I thought, what am I grateful for? I look outside, I was holding my cup of coffee and I thought, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. It's a bit windy, but it's a beautiful day and it's hot. I'm grateful for the trees that are around me and I, I can't remember what else I chose, but you know what? I just suddenly just felt at peace. I just felt happy. I just felt grateful. It's the power of gratitude. A few months ago, I backpacked around Norway. Mentally, I was in a bit of a bad situation. It's a story I will tell for another time, but I was in a bit of a bad situation. My mind was just all over the place. My anxiety, I was in such an anxious state, I was not in a good place. So even then I was trying to go through my head like things I'm grateful for. I didn't eliminate all the problems. I didn't eliminate everything, but it just took that edge off. It just took like, you know what? I'm actually okay. I'm not in danger. I'm not like gonna die. I'm actually like, it just gave me this perspective of gratitude. It just gave me this sense of thankfulness. So how could you practice the power of gratitude? Now this isn't some like wishy-washy, like hippie bullshit. Be grateful, man. Peace and love, man. Like none of that fucking bollocks. I'm not gonna go into all the science behind it because I don't really know the science behind it off by heart. I'm not a scientist. I'm just some autist. <laughs> I generally do believe that this shit actually works. If you don't have this in your life, then maybe I think you should have this in your life. So what I used to do a lot, I don't do it so much at the moment in this part of my life, but I used to write five things. It doesn't have to be five. It could be three. It could be like one. But I think five is a good number. Just write down what you are grateful for and even simple things like the sun is shining or I'm grateful for these windows because if, uh, if I didn't have windows, the rain will get in. Like something stupid like that. But I tell you what, it really does wonders and it kind of puts you in a bit of a, bit of a more thankful state, a happier state of mind, just being thankful. Even something small, I'm thankful for my hands. If I, if I didn't have hands in my life, life would be a lot more difficult. I'm thankful for my eyes. I mean, there's some people in the world that are obviously blind. Like I can see everything and I've got good eyesight. I don't need glasses. So I, I'm, I'm, I write down my eyes, but I'm thankful I can smell smell like I'm just all these simple things it all just sounds wishy-washy but I tell you what it I do believe it it works and it helps it helps in everyday situations it can help when you're feeling a bit low and sometimes when I don't bother writing things down I just say in my head like I did this morning looking out the window and I'm just looking out and I was just saying in my head, what what was I, what am I grateful for? Like the sun is shining. I love the green scenery around me. I think it works personally. So I think maybe if you're going through some stuff, if you're going through some stress, if you're going through like some sort of sad parts of your life, maybe you think you're depressed, maybe you are depressed, well, try and practice the power of gratitude and let me know what you think. Try writing it down. I'll tell you what, step one will be try just saying it out loud or saying it in your head five things you are grateful for, even if you don't really feel it, even if it feels a bit forced, even if it feels forced, just keep doing it. Do it once every day. Maybe when you first wake up and you got your cup of coffee and you're, and you're just sitting there and you think, I'm grateful. I am grateful for the, this roof. I am thankful for my family, my mother. I'm thankful for my father. I'm thankful for this bed, this comfy bed. Because something for you to try. The power of gratitude. Thank you for watching. If you don't know me, Duh. anyway, if you made it this far and you don't know who I am, then my name is Jason. I do videos on self-improvement and autism. So if that is something you are interested in, then click the subscribe button and you'll see more videos like this. So thank you for watching. And don't forget to click this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.